an ancient Buddhist temple unearthed in Pakistan, is one of the oldest ever discovered. It was built within a few hundred years of the death of the founder of Buddhism, Siddhartha Gautama. This is by Tom Metcalf, Live Science on Collective Spark. An ancient temple dating from the early centuries of Buddhism has been unearthed in the Swat Valley in northern Pakistan. It's part of the ancient Gandhara region that was conquered by Alexander the Great and gave rise to the mixing of Buddhist belief and Greek art. Archaeologists think that the temple dates back from about the middle of the second century BC, that's uh, about a hundred years after Alexander the Great, at the time when Gandhara was ruled by the Indo-Greek kingdom of northern India, and that was built above an earlier Buddhist temple that may have dated from as early as the third century BC, which is around uh, right after Alexander the Great went through the area. That means people would have built the older temples within a few hundred years of the death of the founder of Buddhism, Siddhartha Gautama, who believed who lived uh, in what is now northern India, Nepal, between 563 BC and 483 BC. The excavated remains of the temple, found so far near the center of the northern town of Barikot, are over 10 feet, or 3 meters tall, and consist of a ceremonial platform topped by a cylindrical structure that housed a conical or dome-shaped Buddhist monument called a stupa. And much of the work of the archaeologists has been to excavate the ancient fortress and many other and any other uh, temple at the Acropolis on the outskirts of Barikot. So this is actually actually an Acropolis area. Acropolis, every city in ancient Greece had an Acropolis. Acropolis is a compound word meaning the edge of the city. Okay, so that people use it for uh, refuge as well. Now, the temple it usually had a temple to a god. A, a temple complex, which was built and reconstructed several times, also included a smaller stupa, a cell or a room for the monks, a staircase, a pod the podium of a monumental pillar or column, a ves vestibule rooms, and a public courtyard that looked out onto an ancient road. Radiocarbon dating will establish precise dates of the structures, but the temple at Barikot is clearly one of the earliest Buddhist monuments ever found in the, the ancient Gandhara region. Luca Maria Olivieri, archaeologist at Ca Foscari University of Venice and the International Association of Mediterranean and Oriental Studies, ISMEO, who led the excavations with Pakistan and Indian, uh, Italian colleagues, told Life Science. Ancient and modern? Italian archaeologists who've been working in SWAT since 1955 began to uh, the excavations at Barricot in 1984. Their mission had been to preserve the important archaeology of the city by renting vacant land and excavating as much of it as possible, thereby protecting it against urban sprawl and clandestine archaeological excavations that sought to recover artifacts to sell in the foreign antiquary markets, he said. And we have uh, various thousands of artifacts. Ancient artifacts have been unearthed in the excavations at Barikot, including the face of a Buddha carved in gray schist. Until a few years ago, the excavations at Barikot had included the southwestern district of the city and the Acropolis, but not the city center where the land rental costs are very high. He said, and the land at the Barricot site is often privately owned and renting it under terms that allow the excavation simpler and less expensive than buying it. But the newly discovered temple was found on land acquired by the provincial archaeological authorities near the city, the center of the city, which enabled the team to begin excavations there in 2019. Pits made by looters had already suggested something important might be buried there. Olivieri said, for years we had been watching what came out of the founda foundation trenches of modern houses, agricultural excavations, and the pits left by clandestine digging, so there were hints that there was a large monument there. 
The temple was located along an ancient road leading to the ancient city's main Buddhist monument, a 65-foot-wide stupa, or that's over 20 meters, that was revealed by Public Works a few years ago. It's now the site of an electricity pylon. In addition to the agricultural features of the buried temple, archaeologists have discovered more than 2,000 artifacts at the site, including coins, jewelry, seals, pottery pieces, stoneworks, and statues, some of which bear ancient inscriptions that can be used to date them, Oliveri said. Now, Alexander the Great, the Alexandrian Conquest. Barikot is mentioned as Bazira or Baira in classical sources from the time of Alexander the Great, who conquered the early, already ancient Gandhara kingdom in 327 BC. Its name meant the city of Vajra, V-A-J-R-A, referring to the ancient kingdom, the, king, the ancient king mentioned in the Mahabharata, a Sanskrit epic poem that is thought to relate events from about the 9th and 8th century BC. Alexander the Great was the king of Macedonia and Greece. He, led, he was also his father, first before him uh, united the whole of Greece, uh, he, he led his armies and military campaigns east against the Persian Empire from 334 BC, staging an invasion of northwestern India, his father's conquest in 326 BC. No, his father's conquest was not India, it was China, over Laos. He went, uh, and his general said that he went all the way to the end of China, to the uh, coast and uh, facing the Pacific Ocean. Now, Alexander eventually turned back towards Europe at the demand of his homesick troops, but he died at Babylon in 323 BC, probably from a disease such as malaria, but possibly from poisoning. His generals then divided up his territories. The region of Bactria to the north of Gandhara became ruled by kings of Greek descent, while Gandhara for a time reverted to native Indian rule under the Maurya Empire. Olivieri said Buddhism was already present in Gadara by the time of Menander I, a descendant of the Greek kings of Bactria, who established the Indo-Greek kingdom in about 165 BC, 165 BC and took over the region, but it may have been limited to the region's elites. And later, Buddhism became much more widespread and Swat became a sacred center for the religion, especially during the Kushan Empire from about 30 uh, AD to 400 AD, when Gadara became famous for the Greco-Buddhist style that portrayed Buddhist subjects with the techniques of Greek art. Swat has also a temperate microclimate which allows two harvests every year, just like in most places in Greece, in spring and late summer. So ancient Barikot was an important center for the management of the region's agricultural surplus. As a, as a result, Alexander the Great probably used the region as a breadbasket to provision his armies before continuing their military campaign to uh, south to India, according to a statement from Kaz Foscari University of Venice. Olivieri said the Italian archaeological mission had wrapped up its latest session of excavations at Barricot, but the team will re return later this year to make further investigations of the site and hopefully reveal more information on the uh, uh, ancient temple. This was originally on Live Science, it's on Collective Spark. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Finally support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.